Jurassic World Dominion is about to hit theaters. So if you need a quick recap of every film in the prehistoric franchise, from the original Jurassic Park all the way up to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, don't worry, this video has you covered. In the original Jurassic Park, industrialist John Hammond and his company InGen have managed to clone dinosaurs by mixing frog DNA and dinosaur DNA found in prehistoric mosquitoes trapped and preserved in amber. The scientists of InGen, including Dr. Henry Wu, have ensured that the cloned dinosaurs were all created to be female to avoid breeding. With these cloned dinosaurs, Hammond plans to open a theme park called Jurassic Park on a Costa Rican island known as Isla Nublar. After a dinosaur handler is killed by a velociraptor, Hammond's lawyer demands that experts be brought in to certify the park's safety before opening to the public. And so they bring in a group consisting of paleontologist Alan Grant and paleobotanist Ellie Sattler, who are in a relationship, and chaos theorist and mathematician Ian Malcolm. The group are very skeptical of the ethics and safety of the park, but agree to go on a park tour. While on the tour, engine employee Dennis Nedry accepts a bribe from a business rival to steal dinosaur embryos. Nedry turns off the park's power to allow him to navigate the park without being caught, but since the power is off, so are the security systems in place to keep the dinosaurs in their enclosures. Nedry is killed by a dinosaur while making his escape. Meanwhile, the tour group are stranded and attacked by a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Alan and Hammond's young grandchildren Lex and Tim are separated from the group and forced to make their way through dinosaur-filled enclosures to find their way to safety. While on their journey to reunite with the others, Alan discovers hatched dinosaur eggs and realizes that, despite Injun's best efforts, the dinosaurs have found a way to breed due to some frogs being able to change their sex for mating. Meanwhile, Hammond, Ellie, and Malcolm attempt to restore the park's power to contain the dinosaurs. Along the way, their team suffers several casualties, including lawyer Donald Gennaro, engineer Ray Arnold, and game warden Robert Muldoon. Eventually, the group reunites and are saved from a pack of velociraptors by a Tyrannosaurus. The park's power is restored and the group are able to secure a helicopter to deliver them off the island. While leaving, Hammond realizes the error of his ways and resolves to never open the park to the public. In the Lost World, four years have passed and John Hammond once again calls on Ian Malcolm's assistance. Hammond has left his company engine, which was now run by his nephew, Peter Ludlow. Hammond explains that the dinosaurs were originally created on an island known as Isla Sorna, but the park plans were moved to Isla Nublar after hurricanes ravaged the original park site. The dinosaurs of Isla Sorna were abandoned and have been living there in peace in the years since. Now, Ludlow wanted to exploit those dinosaurs to save the struggling engine company. Hammond tasked Malcolm with leading a team to Isla Sorna to document the dinosaurs in their natural habitat in order to encourage a government policy of non-interference. Malcolm only agrees to the expedition upon learning that his girlfriend, paleontologist Sarah Harding, was already on the island studying the creatures. Malcolm travels to Isla Sorna with engineer Eddie Carr and documentarian Nick Van Owen. Upon their arrival on the island, Malcolm is shocked to discover that his teenage daughter Kelly had also secretly accompanied them. Malcolm's group's mission to protect the dinosaurs is seriously complicated when Ludlow and his team, including big game hunters, arrive on the island to inhumanely capture the dinosaurs and reopen a planned Jurassic Park attraction in San Diego. The main target for Ludlow's attraction is a Tyrannosaurus, and Ludlow captures its infant child to use as bait. During Ludlow's mission, most of his team are killed by dinosaurs. After successfully capturing the adult Tyrannosaurus, Ludlow sends it off on a cargo ship to San Diego. Back in San Diego, Malcolm and Sarah attempt to stop Ludlow's plans, but things quickly devolve into chaos when the cargo ship carrying the Tyrannosaurus crashes into the docks, allowing the dinosaur to escape onto the mainland and rampage throughout the city. Malcolm and Sarah use the infant T-Rex to lure the adult back to the docks and away from the city. The the Tyrannosaurus kills Ludlow before Sarah sedates it. In the aftermath, the dinosaurs are returned to Isla Sorna, and the island is officially declared a nature preserve by the American and Costa Rican governments. 
In Jurassic Park 3, we return to the story of Dr. Alan Grant. In the years since the events of the first Jurassic Park, Alan and Ellie have separated. Alan's research leads him to believe that velociraptors were much more socially sophisticated than previously believed, but is unable to secure funding for his research. And that's when wealthy couple Paul and Amanda Kirby enter his life, offering to fund his research if he agrees to give them an illegal aerial tour of Isla Sorna. Alan reluctantly agrees and brings along along his assistant, Billy Brennan, to join the Kirbys and their team of hired mercenaries. Unfortunately, against Alan's protests, the Kirbys have the plane land on the island, where they are almost immediately attacked by a Spinosaurus, destroying the plane and eating the pilot along with his satellite phone, their only source for communication to the outside world. And that's when the Kirbys reveal their true intentions. They weren't actually a wealthy couple looking to fund Alan's research, but were instead a middle-class divorce couple looking for their teenage son, Eric, who had crashed on the island after a parasailing accident with Amanda Kirby's new boyfriend. Friend. They had tricked Alan into being their guide in finding Eric due to his prior experience on the island. And that's when Alan reminds them that he'd never actually been to Isla Sorna, as Jurassic Park was located on the neighboring island Isla Nublar. The group reluctantly must work together, searching for a way off the island and hoping to find Eric alive and well along the way. Throughout their trek of the island, the group are constantly pursued by velociraptors, whom Alan notices have advanced communication skills as he suspected. The Kirbys find the dead body of Amanda's boyfriend, and Alan eventually finds the young Eric, who used knowledge he learned from Alan's books to survive until now. As the group reconvenes, Alan realizes that the Velociraptors had been pursuing them because Billy had stolen some of their eggs. Billy explains he wanted to sell them to fund their research, but Alan scolds his friend, saying he was no better than the corrupt engine. While being pursued by a group of pterodactyls, a remorseful Billy sacrifices himself to save Eric. The group then find their eaten satellite phone in the feces of the Spinosaurus. While being attacked by the Spinosaurus, Alan manages to call Ellie in order for her to send help. The group escapes the Spinosaurus and later runs into a pack of Velociraptors. Alan returns the eggs to them before the Velociraptors are scared off by the sound of approaching helicopters. Ellie had sent the Navy and Marine Corps to the island to save the group. The Kirby family finally reconcile, and Alan is relieved to discover that Billy had survived his run-in with the pterodactyls. And with that, the group departs the island and returns home. The story continues years later in Jurassic World. InGen has rebranded the park on Isla Nublar as Jurassic World and has now opened it to the public. But the company isn't content with just using the original dinosaurs for the theme park. Dr. Henry Wu creates his own transgenic dinosaur known as the Indominus Rex, which can camouflage itself and mask its heat signature. Meanwhile, InGen head of security Vic Hoskins believes that the dinosaurs could be weaponized for massive profits. Animal behaviorist Owen Grady and his assistant Barry greatly oppose the unethical schemes of Injun, but Owen's loyalty and love for his trained velociraptors, especially one he's named Blue, keep him working for the company. The newly created Indominus Rex proves to be too powerful to contain, tricking its captors and escaping his cage to run rampant throughout the tourist-filled park. Park operations manager Claire Deering orders for the park's evacuation and teams up with Owen to find her teenage nephew Zack and Gray, who had been in attendance at the park that day. After rescuing the boys, Owen is ordered by Hoskins to use the raptors to track the Indominus. After finding the Indominus, the genetically engineered dinosaur becomes the raptor's new alpha, turning them on Owen. Wu manages to escape with his research, but Hoskins is killed by one of the raptors. Owen manages to re-establish his bond with the raptors, and they team up to take down the Indominus, resulting in all but Blue being killed. Claire releases the park's Tyrannosaurus to enter the fight against the Indominus. Together, Blue and the T-Rex take down the Indominus, who is then dragged into the park's lagoon by the massive Mosasaurus. With the Indominus defeated, the survivors are able to evacuate, and the park on Isla Nublar is abandoned once again. And that brings us to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Years have passed since Jurassic World's closure, and the island of Isla Nublar would soon face a volcanic eruption that would wipe out the dinosaur population. In a Senate hearing to debate whether or not to save the dinosaurs, Dr. Ian Malcolm testifies that the dinosaurs should be left to die, correcting the mistake of cloning them in the first place. Ultimately, a decision is made not to intervene and allow the dinosaurs to die. Claire Deering establishes the Dinosaur 
protection group to save the dinosaurs and is then summoned to the home of Benjamin Lockwood, former partner of John Hammond. Lockwood explains his desire to relocate the dinosaurs to a new island sanctuary, but required Claire to travel to Isla Nublar to turn on the dinosaurs' tracking devices. And so, Claire forms a team, including Owen Grady, former park technician Franklin Webb, and paleo-veterinarian Zia Rodriguez to head back to Isla Nublar to save the dinosaurs. Claire and Franklin manage to reactivate the tracking system while Owen and Zia find Blue. Unfortunately, mercenary Ken Wheatley tranquilizes Owen and leaves him for dead while kidnapping Zia and an injured Blue. The mercenary team loads up their ships with dinosaurs and plan to depart the island, leaving the rest of the dinosaurs behind to die. Owen, Claire, and Franklin stow away on the mercenary ship and watch in dismay as the volcanic eruption kills off the remaining dinosaurs. Instead of taking the dinosaurs to a new island sanctuary as promised, the mercenaries deliver them to the Lockwood Estate where they are to be auctioned off to the highest bidder. Also up for auction is a new transgenic dinosaur created by Dr. Henry Wu, known as the Indoraptor. This auction was orchestrated by Lockwood's corrupt assistant, Eli Mills. When Lockwood finds out about Mills' plan, Mills murders him. It's also revealed that Lockwood's business relationship with John Hammond had ended when Lockwood wanted to experiment with human cloning. After the death of his daughter, Lockwood successfully cloned her and was raising her as his young granddaughter Maisie. Maisie helps Owen, Claire, and the others to stop the auction and save the dinosaurs. When Wheatley attempts to tranquilize the Indoraptor to extract its tooth as a trophy, the Indoraptor kills him and escapes. Blue faces off against the Indoraptor to save its friends, ultimately killing the transgenic creature. While the auction had been thwarted, there was still one major problem. A hydrogen cyanide gas leak threatened to kill all of the caged dinosaurs and there was no way to stop the leak. Owen and Claire debate whether or not to free the dinosaurs from their cages, releasing them into the mainland. Ultimately, they decide to sacrifice the dinosaurs to protect the rest of the planet. But Maisie disregards their decision and releases the dinosaurs anyway. The villainous Mills attempts to flee the scene but is killed by an escaped Tyrannosaurus. Owen, Claire, Maisie, Franklin, and Zia safely leave Lockwood Estate as Blue and the other escaped dinosaurs flee to roam the world. Following these events, a new Senate hearing is held where Dr. Ian Malcolm declares that the world had entered into a Neo-Jurassic Age where humans and dinosaurs would be forced to coexist. And that's everything you need to know before seeing Jurassic World Dominion. Let me know some of your favorite moments from all of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies in the comments below and what's been your favorite movie so far in the franchise. Like this video if you found it helpful, subscribe to this channel for more content like it, and that does it for me in this video, but I'll see you in the next one.